Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me for a brand new video. We are rounding up the 48 best shoe racks out there. Now this is a video that I have been dying to make and it's really just a solution to my own issue that I have at home. We are a no shoes in the home household as many of you Asian households are out there. It's a cultural thing, you know, if you grew up in an Asian household, you always leave your shoes at the door. I know that I'm not the only one with shoe storage and organization issues out there. In this video, I'll be sharing 48 different shoe storage solutions from tiny little slim consoles to cabinets to slim flip drawers for those teeny tiny entryways and really simple benches that just get the job done. So if you're looking for stylish and functional shoe storage ideas, this video is for you. Before we get to all the shoe storage options out there, let's talk about what I'm looking for. The number one priority is always about function. You need to determine the function of your shoe rack first before you dive into all of the options that are out there. Functional simply means that the rack holds the amount of shoes that I need for myself or my guests. You wanna first measure your space and max it out. If you have the vertical height for storage, you wanna source up which means a taller cabinet that fits all of your shoes would be your best bet. If you don't need to store that many shoes and you wanna turn the rack into an entry valet, you can decorate it with a mirror or a statement art piece above it and accessorize with an entry valet or a tray or a catch-all for your keys, your wallets, or your sunnies. Now that you understand how the shoe rack needs to function, let's talk about style. I'm always looking for something clean, minimal, vibes with my interior aesthetic, bonus points if I can hide my shoes in plain sight. And lastly, you want to prioritize the finish. The piece needs to be sturdy, it needs to be solid, it needs to be super well made, especially if I want it to last for a long time. Now that we have those three priorities covered, let's talk about what I don't like. What I don't like are plastic bins and cubbies that really just look cheap. Plastic, of course, as you know, degrades over time. So if you're leaving this in your front entry, if you're putting this outside or even in the garage, you will know that plastic can look cheap, it can discolor, it can degrade, it can buckle, and it can lose stability over time. So stay away from those cheap plastic racks. What I also don't love is too many fancy flourishes. We're talking about embellishments on cabinet doors. We're talking about metal scrolls. You really wanna stay away from those decorative finishes and embellishments because it's harder to clean. It doesn't look too high end or luxurious. For me personally, I also don't like open shelves and cubbies and here's why. If you're someone who's not very tidy, you don't like a cluttered space, you always want to source a shoe rack that has a closed cabinet or a closed drawer front. Those open cubbies collect so much dust, they're harder to keep clean, but I also do understand the functionality of it. If you need a shoe rack, let's say in your garage or in a small hallway closet, you want super easy access, you want to be able to throw your shoes on a rack and pull them out with ease, then absolutely, I understand the need for an open shelf or a cubby. However, if your shoe storage is in plain sight, you definitely want to look for an organizational system where you can hide the shoes behind closed doors. And the last thing that you should look out for are those open slats on the shelves. If you wear a lot of high heels, clearly high heels aren't stable on the open slats. They could also collect a lot of dirt and debris in those little corrugated panels. Slat systems are ideal for shoes with flat soles or your sneakers or your sandals. So you always wanna think about the type of shoe that you're trying to store and the organizational system that best suits that purpose. We rounded out all of the options and we broke down this video into five different categories. We've got shoe cabinets or shoe consoles. We've got vertical cabinets. We have slim cabinets with flip open drawers. I also rounded up shoe benches with minimal storage needs. And finally, I'll be sharing all of my favorite shoe racks with a handful under $50 that really just get the job done. Let's start with shoe cabinets. 
These are more luxurious high-end cabinets. They could be a media cabinet, they could be a storage console. You really could be using a sideboard, a buffet. I don't really get caught up into what the cabinet or the case good is actually labeled as. I feel like you have to broaden your search term if you're looking for the perfect furniture piece to suit a particular function. When would you need a shoe cabinet like this? For me, I entertain a whole lot. I need a space for my guests to put their shoes, but not only do I need a space for them to put their shoes, I also need a place for them to put their bags, their purses, and personal belongings. We entertain a whole lot here, and anytime I have guests over, I mean, my entry looks absolutely crazy. It's like I'm wholesaling shoes at the swap meet. It's just not a good look. So I really need a system in place that corrals all of the personal belongings for myself and my guests. Enter the luxury shoe console. To me, this is like a one size fits all type of cabinet. You need an entry valet, you need a place for your shoes, and you need something that's really stylish, functional, and beautiful. The first console on my list is the Cypress White Washed Wood Cardenza from CB2. I know what you're thinking, a credenza as shoe storage, and at over $2,000, is she crazy? But hear me out. I source this for my latest custom home residential clients and we plop this in the entryway for a variety of reasons. Number one, it is a stunning piece. It features a marble top with reeded wood detailing. But when you slide these doors open, they reveal adjustable shelves that are perfect for entryway shoe storage. If you don't need to store a whole lot of shoes, but you also need a really beautiful, handsome piece to corral your keys, your wallet, maybe even your purse or like the dog leash, this is such a beautiful piece. Bonus points for its lofty height. You can also repurpose this piece in the dining room as a makeshift bar or buffet. You could also use it as a media console. I love a beautiful piece of furniture that could be used in so many different ways. This next piece is the Macklin Media Console from Burke Decor. This piece is Danish inspired with modern mid-century lines. The light finished mahogany forms a clean casing on a plinth style base. The doors feature a woven paper cord for a high texture touch. I love modern pieces with a vintage or antique touch. It always makes your home feel a little bit more loved and cozy. This metal media console is also from Burke Decor and it features a simple shaping inspired by mid-century design. I love that it has ample drawer space that's also tall enough for you to fit high heels, platforms, or even your boots. Bonus points for the tiered drawer system so that you can stack your shoes and make use of all that vertical space. If you have guests over often, I love this Hillary Media Console from Burke Decor. It's made from light natural mango with six drawers plus a dual drop down door front. It features a natural cane finish for a textural look. There's rear cutouts in the back for media cord management. So this is one of those pieces that's perfect in the living room for not only guest storage, shoe storage, but it's also a really great piece to hide personal belongings. The Faction Console from Burt Decor is one of those pieces where you can hide your junk in plain sight. It's so beautiful, modern, and simple. It's handcrafted of walnut with a hand-applied dark walnut finish. I could totally see this styled behind a sofa or a sectional. The open cubbies make it so easy for you to slide your shoes in and out. It's also a great place for personal belongings like purses, backpacks, or even iPads. Imagine that you have multiple guests over and each cubby can be designated for each individual family. What a personal way for guests to feel completely welcome and invited. This Coronado Walnut Wood Credenza is from CB2 and it features four doors that open to reveal generous storage with adjustable shelves. Now if you're using this credenza specifically for shoe storage, imagine how many shoes you can stuff in here. This credenza was designed by California design duo Lossing Fenning, and it plays up all of the horizontal and vertical wood grain patterns to emphasize texture and dimension. It's such a stunning piece that could be used in a variety of settings from mid-century to modern and even contemporary or classic traditional. Where can you imagine this piece going in your home? Now, if you're shelling out thousands of dollars just to store your shoes, this console better do something else. The Luke Storage Media Console from Crate and Barrel is absolutely fabulous. It has a curved silhouette that shows off the gorgeous grain of the sustainably sourced Guanacaste tree. 
The flat front doors preserve the flow of this sinuous console, while the generous storage compartment features two fixed shelves behind its doors. I can totally see this media console in an expansive entryway, topped off with a statement mirror and really beautiful wall sconces. Now you've just created the ultimate focal point for your entryway. The Chill High Gloss White Media Console was another console that I passed up as shoe storage for my most recent clients. We wanted something in the entryway that not only holds shoes and a valet station and dog leashes and personal guest items, but I was looking for something with a little bit more of a wood finish instead of all white. But if you have a modern space or a transitional space, all white is just clean, it's classic, and it always feels really subtle when the design direction is not about the furniture. I love the open slots for purses or backpacks, and you can hide the shoes behind the drawers. It also features really smart details that you can't see. The back is completely finished in all white all around, which means this piece can actually float in the room and become a makeshift partition if you need to. This is such ingenious design, CB2 really thinks of everything. Next, we have those vertical cabinets. Vertical cabinets are closed door cabinets that make use of all of the vertical height you have in your space. The first step to sourcing anything for your home is always to measure your space. If you know where you need to store your shoes, you will always measure the width of the space you have and the height you have available. I always say max it out. If you only have four feet to work with, but you also have an eight foot wall to fill, go all the way up. You could also stack these vertical cabinets side by side you can stack them right above each other. So you definitely need to determine how you need your shoe storage to function first, and then you will source the perfect vertical cabinet for the job. These vertical cabinets are more traditional in the sense where they're made specifically for shoe storage. So if you're looking to house only shoes and maybe smaller personal items, these are a really great fit. The Roland shoe cabinet is made in Malaysia and is constructed of sturdy wood in a sleek, modern, two-tone, dark brown and gray finish. I love that it has five open shelves and 10 enclosed shelves so that you could display all the pretty shoes and hide all those ones that you use every single day. The splayed legs add a touch of retro charm so I can totally see this in a mid-century home. This two-tone shoe storage cabinet from Wayfair can hold over 16 pairs of shoes. It's crafted from engineered wood and features a two-tone white and brown finish that complements any type of modern decor. There's four open shelves on the side for you to feature all your favorite footwear or even a place for your valet station, your keys, your sunglasses, your wallets. Think about using open cubbies and shelves for anything that you need to access on the fly. This white shoe storage cabinet is another really handsome piece from Wayfair, and I love that it has a four door shoe cabinet with a really minimalist design. It's perfect for your home's entry where you can have six fixed shelves and two adjustable shelves so you can easily organize all of your different shoes from your heels to your boots, your sneakers, sandals, and everything in between. The Lena shoe storage cabinet from Wayfair features rich wood tones paired with gold tone metal door handles. This super slim cabinet is perfect for those tiny entryways. I love that it's taller than most of these cabinets at 45 inches high, which is perfect for using all of that vertical height on your walls. The open shelf on the bottom of the cabinet provides additional shoe storage and the circular cutouts on the back of the cabinet enable air circulation and prevents mold growth on your shoes. This next storage cabinet takes advantage of all of that vertical height on the walls, plus it features a handy dandy mirror so you can check yourself out. With this type of design, it's the perfect solution for those small entryways. If you have a larger entryway and a lot more shoes to hold, you could stack this cabinet side by side. But remember my number one feng shui tip, no mirrors facing the front door. So if you have ample space on the wall adjacent from the front entry door, this is the perfect solution. This walnut cream shoe storage cabinet is another one from Wayfair that I can absolutely see right in my entryway. If you stack two or three of these side by side, it could look like a beautiful built-in custom piece. Think of stacking these cabinets in your entryway like you would a mud room. It could hold your shoes, it could hold your purses, it could hold the kids' backpacks, it could hold your hats, books, magazines. The sky's the limit, especially when you can hide all of your junk behind the closed doors. 
This mason cabinet from Irvin Outfitters is sold as a pantry cabinet, but just like anything else in design, do not pay attention to the labels. You can literally use any type of furniture for any purpose as long as it functions as you need it to. This tall wooden cabinet features an arching frame with two doors topped with peg knobs. Inside are seven adjustable storage shelves so that you can organize all your different types of shoes. Arches aren't going anywhere in design. I love how arches really soften up any interior. If you have a space with a lot of right angles and a lot of harsh lines, consider adding a piece of furniture in the space that softens it up with a beautiful arched frame. It is estimated that every five seconds, one Billy bookcase is sold somewhere in the world. I mean, Ikea has their bases covered. I love this Billy bookcase. I actually have two of these Billy bookcases that I repurposed in my closet for my shoe storage. It's such a simple foundation piece that can be repurposed and upcycled in so many different ways. One Billy bookcase can hold between 45 and 50 shoes. Now, that means that I have over 100 pairs of shoes in my closet. Hey, don't judge me. I did start off as a style blogger, but imagine the possibilities. Stack these Billy bookcases in your garage to house all of your family's shoes and personal belongings. You could place one in your closet, one in the entry. I mean, the sky is the limit. I love these slim flip drawer cabinets because they don't take up a whole lot of space. It's especially great for small apartments and studios, or even if you have a really narrow hallway that leads up into your common areas. I need a really slim flip drawer cabinet for my entry and I'm thinking of stacking this Haushin shoe cabinet side by side. It features four flip drawers for shoe cabinet space for your shoes. It's only seven and a half inches in depth. It's perfect for those teeny tiny entryways. It's made of MDF in white finish, but I could see you personalizing this with temporary peel and stick wallpaper in the front. You can even add like a really cute marble deck on top. You know that the internet is listening on your conversations when every single other ad on Instagram features this shoe cabinet. This natural rattan shoe cabinet with two flip drawers from Amazon features warm white wood grain color and a natural rattan skin. The matte textured metal bases are independent of each other and can be fixed against the wall with two metal feet or it can be placed independently with four feet. I love that you can take the legs off, especially if you have existing baseboards so it doesn't interfere with the structural integrity of your walls. I can see this cabinet in a variety of settings. If you've got a Japandi inspired space, Wabi Sabi, I can see it in a coastal setting, even with a modern desert warm neutral vibe. Your guests will never guess that you have 16 pairs of shoes stored in this wall mounted cabinet. It's such a beautiful piece that features two different types of handles. You've got a leather-like pool for those mid-century vibes, or you can also swap it out for this super simple knob that's minimal and very subtle. It has four drawers that flip open and two front legs that give the appearance of a freestanding piece of furniture. Remember that with all of these flip top type of shoe drawer cabinets, your shoes can't be super tall or bulky. So while these cabinets won't fit your 60s style retro platforms, they will be the perfect place to house your sneakers or your sandals. This stackable shoe cabinet features three drawers which can be perfectly hidden behind a door. It's suitable for small spaces like apartments and studios, and I love that it can house 30 pairs of shoes in this unassuming piece. There's three drawers that feature three different colors. This is not something that I would source for the entryway since I like something a little bit more neutral and devoid of color, but this would be so cute for a kid's room or a teenager's bedroom. This modern rattan cabinet is 49 inches tall. That's the perfect height to take advantage of all of that vertical wall space. It features a vertical silhouette, three flip drawers, rattan doors, MDF panels, and slim steel legs. Each layer contains two compartments that can store six pairs of shoes. If you have a larger shoe size, you can store three pairs. You really just have to measure the piece to know exactly what it can fit. I've shared this Tronus shoe storage cabinet from Ikea before and for a good reason. It is only $39.99 for a two pack. 
It's a shallow cabinet that takes up very, very little space and it's the perfect place to store your shoes, your gloves, your scarves, anything that you need to get in and out of the entryway fairly quickly. You can easily create more storage space by stacking several cabinets on top of each other. I actually saw Anita Yokota do this type of installation in her client's stairwell, and I feel like it has so much visual impact for not a whole lot of money. There's a recessed area on top of the cabinet that you can use to place smaller things like artwork, photographs, even your keys and a little catch-all. Bonus points for a door that is super easy to remove when you wanna clean inside the cabinet. This cranberry shoe storage cabinet from Wayfair holds over 12 pairs of shoes. It also has two additional shelves for you to place your personal belongings and even some decor and accessories. This walnut cabinet is not cheap, but it's such a beautiful piece. It's classic with an understated appearance. The shoe storage features mid-century modern lines in a walnut veneer and titanium gold stainless steel accents. There are three flip down large capacity spaces that make it easy and convenient for you to store all your different shoes. In addition, the top of the shoe storage could also be used to house decorative accessories like a vase, some flowers, and even your personal belongings and some books. Think about the things that you need to get in and out of the house quickly and store your items there. Let's talk about a shoe bench that also has storage capacity. When would you need this type of shoe bench? It's perfect for the entry because it also gives you a place to put on your shoes and take it off. The pro is that you have a place to sit, but the con is that you can't store a whole lot of shoes. The shoe bench solution is a really great option, especially if you have two different points of entry in your home. Let's say your main door is used primarily for guests and your garage is the primary point of entry. You might have a huge freestanding shoe rack in the garage, but you need something a little bit pre prettier and a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for the main entry door. In this case, you want to think about how many shoes you actually need to fit in the shoe bench and how wide of a space you have allotted for this furniture piece. This storage bench from Burke Decor has a multi-purpose design with a distinctive Scandinavian influence. I love that this piece could be used as an ottoman, a coffee table, and of course an entry storage bench that could also hold your shoes and personal belongings. I love that this bench also provides a comfortable cushioned seat which flips up easily to stash a few pairs of shoes. It features a hard surface area to rest your sunglasses or your keys while you get ready for the day, and the end also has an open cubby for displaying books, magazines, and even a place for you to hold your dog leashes that is nearby the entry. This Navi trunk from Burke Decor could work either in the entry or the bedroom. It's a stylish storage solution that's not just for your shoes, but think about hiding your blankets, your throws, whatever you need that's in close proximity to the entryway. I love the large cylindrical legs that are made of natural finish solid oak support. This bench features large cylindrical legs of natural finish solid oak that support the upholstered bench seating in a cream colored boucle. If you want to add a touch of texture to your entryway, but don't want to add a whole lot of color, this is the perfect finishing piece. This Ivana storage entry bench from Brick Decor is a little bit more industrial than I would source for myself, but I love how handsome and sturdy it looks. The three slide out drawers make it perfect for hiding your shoes, and the open shelf could become a great solution for house slippers or sandals that you need to access quickly and efficiently. I can totally see this Beal bench in my entryway, especially for guests. I would have guests use the bench to put their shoes on and off, and I would use this open cubby to house brand new socks or even brand new house slippers that I would provide for my guests once they take off their shoes. This oval bench features a natural woven cane panel framed in ceruced oak. It's sophisticated, it's plush, it's comfortable, it's stylish, what's not to love? This brown oak storage bench from Crate and Barrel is made for storage. The bench features a pull-out drawer and an open shelf down below for shoes or baskets. It's great for entryways or mudrooms when you don't need to store a whole lot of shoes, but you do need a solid sturdy piece to put your shoes on and off before entering the home. This Pierre Jean Array style storage chest and bench is from France and Son, and it's crafted from teak wood featuring woven rattan on top of the storage chest. 
it's a stylish way to not only keep all of your bulky shoes corralled, but you can also hide your dirty laundry in there to keep it out of sight. In addition to storing all of your shoes, I could also see this in the playroom to hide all of the kids' toys, maybe even as an end of bed bench, and then you could hide all of your extra linens and throw pillows in there. I could also see this in the living room as a makeshift coffee table. The two-tone finish makes it such a stunning piece that doesn't need to be hidden away. This Parker trunk from France and Son is such a stylish and practical solution for your shoe storage needs. I can imagine this in a really slim entry way, especially if you just need to take off your shoes on and off and tuck it somewhere where it's out of sight. You can slide your shoes right underneath the bench, or you can flip up the top to hide booty covers, especially if you allow shoes inside the home. The catch-all large sand storage bench from CB2 hides a multitude of sins. The sleek seat hides clutter in plain sight, and the high gloss white storage bench offers super deep storage for shoes, pillows, linens, clothes, books, games, you name it, it can hide it. This upholstered seat comes in a performance fabric, so it's super easy and clean to wipe down. This cushioned shoe storage bench from Wayfair can house eight different pairs of shoes. It offers convenient storage for your footwear since there's open cubbies. Remember what I said about open cubbies for storage. If you're neat and tidy, open shelving is great. But if you're not so neat and tidy, always look for something with closed cabinets. I love this Cayman bench from Pottery Barn for its sleek and minimal silhouette. This bench can seat two people comfortably. It's made from mango wood and mild steel and hand finished in a light biscotti stain. You can tuck shoes on the shelf, you can tuck shoes underneath the shelf. At 54 inches in width, this is the perfect bench solution for a larger entryway. This chestnut bench with mud linen seat pad from Wayfair retails for just over $200. This bench is made from 100% solid mango wood in a chestnut finish. The bench provides a comfy padded seat and the single shelf can house up to four pairs of shoes. This Folsom bench from Pottery Barn is crafted from sustainably harvested kiln dried SPF wood with a veneer ply. You have two different choices of finish. You can either get the desert pine or the charcoal finish, and it also features two cubbies for storage. When choosing between different finish options, imagine the vibe that you're going for. If you like a lighter space, an airier feel, a more tone-on-tone -tone look, consider the lighter pine finish against lighter neutral walls. If you like a little bit more contrast, the charcoal finish would look really stunning against white walls or even darker walls when you want everything to blend right in. I wouldn't be that great of a designer if I didn't also offer you solutions that are very budget conscious, simple, straightforward, and just gets the job done. Here are my favorite shoe racks for less than $50. This next lot retails for over $50, but they hold a lot more shoes. Think about the different ways that you can use these racks. You can place them side by side, you can stack them front to back. Depending on the space that you have and the finishes that you vibe with, there really is something for everyone on this list. That's it for today's video. What did you think of the ultimate shoe storage roundup? Just because it's a utilitarian requirement doesn't mean that you can neglect function and style. Like all the furniture in your home, once you determine your needs, it is up to you to source the most stylish solution that you can that fits within your budget. For me personally, I have multiple areas in my home that need shoe storage solutions. I have a really small entryway, and the entryway is really just a landing zone for me to take my shoes on and off. On the flip side, when I host guests or we have a party, I also need a landing zone for all of my guests' shoes and personal belongings. So the solutions that I have in place right now are just not cutting it. I have this dresser that I have repurposed into like a shoe cabinet slash entryway landing zone. And I also have this really slim console. The slim console is really just not working for me anymore, but at the beginning it really did. 
I wanted to take advantage of the vertical height on my entry walls, so I was looking for something tall and really slim. The aisle way is not that huge. I only have about 30 inches of clearance space when you walk through the door. So I'm definitely looking for a solution that has a little bit more longevity and is more streamlined. I had purchased this entry console from Home Goods like years back. I want to say I only spent like $200 on it. So now that I know this is exactly what I need in place, I'm really ready to make that investment. I also need a shoe storage solution in my backyard because as I previously mentioned, shoes aren't allowed in my home. So guests would carry their shoes from the front door out to the backyard just to use the backyard area. Like I hate that. So I almost want another solution for guest slippers or outdoor slippers in my backyard so guests don't have to carry their shoes from one place to the next. I hope you got some really great ideas to help solve your shoe storage problems in your home. Remember that we have a complete sourcing place list for anything that you need in the house. I've rounded up beds, nightstands, dining tables, dining chairs, coffee tables, sectionals. What do we have lined up next? I think we have mirrors and lighting lined up next. So if there's anything that you need help sourcing for in the home, definitely drop me a line in the comments below. If you like this type of video and you want more Shop the Look sourcing guides, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone you know who has shoe organization issues like we do. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.